Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. So today we're going to continue with our uh, next lesson. We're still in chapter 1. Okay. Today we're going to cover part 3 of chapter 1 which is about pressure. So what is pressure? Pressure happens when there is a force okay, applied over on the surface of a surface. So, basically, we can say that in order to know how much is the pressure applied on a body, okay, we have to know how much is the force applied towards the surface area. So, imagine that, okay, you just uh, pushing on one surface. Let's say that this is like a surface of a door, okay, okay. You want to know how much is the pressure you apply when you uh, want to shut the door. Okay, you remember when you want to shut the door, we just uh, push it. Okay, so the for pressure is actually force which is applied to the door surface towards the surface area. Okay, so it must be 90 degree between the force and the area, surface area. Okay. And the unit of the pressure is actually Newton over meter square. So look at this, the unit even here, we can notice that this is the unit for force and this is the unit for the area. And it's also known as a Pascal. And this is the just a derivation of the pressure, okay, which is means that the amount of force exerted on a unit area of a substance or a body. Okay, let's do this example, example 1. Okay, for example, the figure below shows a container of a liquid with a movable piston. Okay, so imagine that this is just a container, okay, which is contain liquid here. So it has a piston which is can be movable, okay, depending on the load here, okay. So Compute the magnitude of the pressure in megapascal. So this is the sub, uh, su suffix that we I show you in chapter one. Okay, in uh, part one, if I'm not mistaken, megapascal in the liquid under the piston. If the total weight of the piston and the load is five hundred newton. Okay, that's mean the total weight here is actually five hundred newton. And the area of the piston is 2500 millimeter square. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.2 megapascal. So, how can we solve this question? Okay, let's solve the question. <coughs> so, we know that in this container, it consists of the liquid. So, the liquid. Okay, so the, even the question asks us how much is the pressure which is applied by the fluid here, okay, when there is a load applied here. So, you have to know that the concept of uh, in uh, equals to out, okay. So, for example, if we, if here, okay, there is a load with, from the piston and the um, weight of the load, which is, the value is 500 newton so this load is actually is pointing downward okay because the fluid uh, is located here so the fluid will re rebels back okay the force or the pressure in the same uh, in the same surface but different direction so if the load pushing downward there will be a pressure pushing upward back to rebel the the pressure Okay, so like this. Okay, so therefore we know that pressure will be equals to force over area. So the pressure here, the source of the pressure here is actually from this direction. So we will say that, of course, the pressure which is rebels back is actually due to the pressure which is applied to it. So F is actually from the load, the weight of the load and the piston and the area is actually the surface area of the piston here which is given in the question 
Okay, so the force is equal to 500 and the area is given and for the area here is a bit tricky because you need to convert it into SI unit for area. Okay, the given unit for area in the equation is um, millimeter squared. Okay, so we have to multiply with this uh, unit conversion in order to get the, un the unit in SI unit. Okay, so we know that 1 meter equals to 1000 millimeter and it has a square so just square here so at the end you get how much is the area so lastly you just substitute all this value into this formula bag and you manage to get the answer which is zero equals to 0 0.2 megapascal so according to the pascal's law which is the law uh, which is explained about pressure in fluid Okay. It says that uh, pressure acts uniformly in all direction. Okay, I repeat, pressure will act uniformly in all direction on a small volume of fluid. Okay, if there is a, only a small volume of fluid, the pressure will act uniformly in all direction. So it may look like this. Okay, you see that the pressure act uniformly in a small in all direction. Okay. But if if a fluid uh, contained in a confined space by solid boundaries, the pressure will act perpendicularly perpendicular to the boundaries. So, in other words, I can say that if the liquid is being placed in a confined space, for example, solid boundaries, okay, the pressure will act in perpendicular direction so you see that this is the confined space the solid confined space so the pressure here is actually uh, act perpendicular to the surface of the boundaries okay so all is 90 degree uh, towards the surface so this is what the Pascal's law described about the pressure in a confined space like solid boundaries you well we finished already subtopic of pressure now we are in a subtopic of compressibility compressibility is also one of the characteristic of the fluid okay remember in the first part i'll talk about uh, compressibility or between gas and liquid okay so compressibility <coughs> Is the change in volume of a substance when it is subjected to a pressure so imagine that okay you blow a balloon okay and you press a balloon between your hand so does the volume of the balloon will change okay so that thing is something related to compressibility okay in difference to the liquid okay for example you put a liquid okay in one container so will you manage to compress the liquid okay so the compressibility is actually can be measured okay or can be defined uh, through the bulk modulus of elasticity or we call it as a bulk modulus okay the formula to determine the bulk modulus is actually can be uh, determined through this formula okay which is derived as the delta P, which is a change in pressure, okay, divided by the change in volume over actual volume, okay. So, remember, between liquid and gas, which one is incompressible? Okay, let's do example 2 which is about the compressibility okay so if the bulk modulus for water at atmospheric pressure and 20 degrees C is 2179 megapascal compute the change in pressure that must be applied to water to change its volume by 1% okay so we know that the compressibility or the modulus, bulk modulus is 
given here which is k equals to 217279 okay and the change in volume is actually 1% so delta v is actually 1% okay and the question asks you to calculate what is delta p okay so since that the change in volume is actually sorry here is actually delta v over v is equal 1% okay so the change in volume is given and the k is given as well which is 2179 so you want to know what is delta p so you can just substitute into this formula and lastly you will get the answer is 21.79 megapascal